COVID exhaustion with COVID causing so much burnout and illness in the healthcare field. The question arose, will fewer students actually choose to go into nursing? The night team's Courtney Friedman checked in with the deans of two major nursing schools in San Antonio and what she found both encouraging and inspiring. Austin Chapa graduated from Churchill High School in 2017, knowing he wanted to be a nurse. The pandemic hit in the middle of his studies, but seeing employee burnout and illness hasn't scared him away. It comes down to making a difference in people's lives. Um, it's really important. It's really like self-fulfilling. Turns out there are a lot of compassionate driven people out there like Chapa. We checked in with both UIW and UT Health San Antonio nursing schools to compare applications before and after the pandemic. UT Health's applications have doubled from 258 applications in spring of 2020 to 596 for fall of 2021. UIW seeing so many applications, they've begun enrolling more students. In January, in the last two weeks, we started a brand new class of 93. That includes 25 students in our new accelerated program for people who have previous degrees. A year ago, we were probably admitting about 62. The dean of UIW's nursing school, Holly Castle, says if they could find enough faculty, they'd increase it more. Part of the capacity also lies in the same issue seen at UT Health San Antonio. That our students do go into clinical settings and engage with patients in hospital settings and community settings. And because of the pandemic, those opportunities have been restricted in, in some ways. Cynthia O'Neill is the Associate Dean of Undergraduate Studies at UT Health San Antonio School of Nursing, saying that's why the program capacity of around 330 students a year has held steady. We do have some really compelling stories of students who have lost parents or grandparents during the pandemic. It's really amazing that people are willing to accept that challenge and to um, pursue their goals and careers despite of the pandemic and how fast things can change. The positivity of these young nurses creating hope for a society in much need of healing. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.